Halloween is almost here. This yep. is always one of my most favorite segments of the year. We're learning how to make spooky treats to celebrate, and they're easy. Our friendly Marcess <laughs> is here with her ideas, and Kara actually does all of these <laughs> Yeah, ideas. I wait for you to come on, and then I say, this is what I'm going to do for trick or treat, because, you know, it's such a fast thing. Mm -hmm. You get home from work, school, everyone's got to be in their costumes and out trick or treating, so you want festive, but it can't be something really difficult, because people are gone in like an hour. They want to go trick or treating. Exactly. And so I actually had some of this stuff in my freezer already, so I tried to make it kind of authentic authentic as to you really only have an hour what are we going to put together okay. yeah so the first thing we have are English muffin pizzas so what I've done here so I had English muffins in my freezer so I just I, I defrosted them and then I just uh, so you just slice them in half and then you add some uh, pizza sauce and then of course you can add some shredded cheese but what I've done because you know I have to have a cookie cutter with everything that I do <laughs> everything is a cookie cutter and it everything goes into shape awesome. so now we have ghost cheese not to be confused with ghost peppers yes exactly <laughs> so what I've done here is I took fresh mozzarella and I used one of these uh, mini ghost cookie cutters How and cute. then I just put it in you can put it into the uh, toaster oven for like 10 minutes let it he heat up and then you have some ghost pizza that right or like awesome. just throw it on a cookie if you have 10 kids coming yeah, up exactly. doing a cookie, just put them all together right now will the ghost melt in the it will but what I would actually do is probably um, just put you know let let the sauce in the and the English muffin heat up and then put the ghost in five minutes before if you still want it to be ghosty, you Got know, it. otherwise it might melt. Otherwise it might melt. So this is great. I think in the past that we've done, maybe you might have seen on Pinterest the string cheese, but this is, I think kids will like this even more. This looks like garlic bread fingers. Exactly. So I was trying to figure out how do we make this easy. I didn't want to start playing around with dough and breadstick dough, so I just bought the uh, garlic bread mm -hmm. that comes, you know, right in the freezer section. I just sliced them to look like fingers, and then I just took sliced almonds. So I baked them. They always look, they already look like they ugly already, nails. Yeah, exactly. So they, they just kind of look like nails. And then I just took sliced almonds, uh, and then just put them on top. And That's then it just so looks clever. like it just looks like little fingernails. And look at the meatball meatball eyes. eyeballs. Meatball eyeballs. Again, I just took uh, these are turkey meatballs. I just took some olives. I sliced them up. Put them on top. Meatball eyeballs. If you wanted to take these meatballs further, you could probably slice them in half too. So, oh, uh, so you don't right. have if you if you don't want to have just if you don't if you have more kids or something. And Boop, if you need a vegetarian yes. option, I know you always bring those falafel balls. Yes, and that would work too. I forget the brand you uh, like. But. The, yeah, exactly. The Eve's Veggie Cuisine. They also have the falafel balls and so, or the kale and quinoa bites. Those are work as well too. My eye just fell off. Okay, so. <laughs> But it's okay, because that's what it's supposed to be. It's Halloween. The eyes mm. fall off. Oh, so here we just have uh, a spider web dip. So you can do this as like a five-layer dip. You want to keep it simple. So I just did guacamole, some squeezable uh, sour cream right on top to make it look like a spider web. And so the trick with the spider web is you do a circle within a circle within a circle, and then you just take it up to the top a little bit so that it's uh, so it doesn't just end at the circle, but you just take it take out it all the way And further. these are just pie plates, which people have. Yeah. yeah. So this is chocolate hummus, and you did it with um, icing instead? Yes. Yeah, so I did chocolate hummus just on the bottom, and then I have icing on top. You can see that it's tilted. Normally we wouldn't tilt it. Otherwise, uh, you see the... Anyway, so you have the the spider web, and then I have cinnamon sugar pita oh. chips. That's the best thing ever. I, I didn't need know to try. they had chocolate hummus. Yeah. yeah, so they have chocolate hummus right where they sell all the hummus. If you wanted to make it savory, you can do it with black bean. So good. Uh, we you only can have do. A minute. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make these Dracula teeth cookies. Okay. So you just take a soft baked cookie. It has to be soft. You take some red icing, and then I'm gonna let you add the a marshmallow teeth. Okay. And I'm then here, a little bit more. A little bit more on each side. Add some marshmallow teeth. I need to see what it looks like. And then, oh, oh, like this. Have them stand up. Yep. And then you're going to put the other side, you're going to put some icing. And then you're going to make it look like little Dracula teeth. That is so awesome. Isn't I that? love it. So cute. And I'm going to come this way. I'm going to show you one more thing. You take Hershey Kisses. Mm -hmm. You're going to dip them into icing, whether uh, orange icing or purple icing. These are just like the Keebler the cookies. Keebler. Keebler. Take them upside down. Little. Witch hats. Isn't that cool? They're witch. Oh, you can even make this. People can leave it out, and the kids can play with it. Yeah, exactly. Look, at, I think I did a pretty good job, and that Let took ten seconds. Ten seconds. That's and, awesome. And you Look can even that. just have it so that the kids do it and have fun. You can do purple. You can do orange. I you love can do it because there's a ready-made craft. It's a cookie bar. Lemar, right. love Thank your you, ideas. <laughs> and for more fun recipes and craft ideas, all you have to do is visit lemarsus.com. Follow her on Facebook or Instagram. And also, um, we're going to have this video on betterct.com if you just want to look back as you're preparing for reference.